Welcome to the Ideal Auto Factory. My name is Joshua, and today's video is going to be all about the battery eliminator circuit, or other known as BEC. This video is going to explain to you what those operating voltages really mean and why they're important in RC drifting. Keep God first, let's get into this video. What is BEC voltage and why does it matter? Well, let's keep it plain and simple. The battery that you put into your vehicle is a 2S light bulb when it comes to RC drifting and it could be any kind of S, you know, 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, or whatever type of RC you're driving outside of RC drifting. But let's just stick to 2S. The BEC voltage is the operating voltage for the electronics that are powered by the battery. Your battery actually puts out 8.4 volts at its maximum charge when it's taken off of the battery charger. So you have 8.4 volts going into your ESC, and when you turn your ESC on, it outputs a BEC voltage of six volts on up to 7.4 volts. And that's just so all of the electronics that you run, your gyro, your servo, your fans, anything like that that is connected to that receiver is on a straight, consistent voltage of six on up to 7.4. You can't spike and go higher. You can't drop and go lower. Six volts is actually the lowest number most people run at. For that is the lowest number offered coming out of the ESC. The electronics you use have a specific operating range. For example, this gyro. It actually operates at a voltage of 3.7 to approximately 8.4 volts. Then there's the servo. This servo actually operates at 4.8 volts or 6 volts, and it gives you the specifications for it when it is operating between those volts. You notice that the operating voltage for the gyro is higher than the operating voltage for the servo, and that is why BEC voltage is important. There are some systems, there are some electronics that can operate at a higher voltage than others. So you wanna make sure you choose the right voltage for the electronics that are in it. When it comes to the ESC, ESCs put out a certain BEC. Some of them let you choose from a range. Others only have two options, the six volt option or the 7.4 volt option. This is really what I wanted to make this video about. I really wanna see the actual BEC output through a multimeter, not through what the ESC is telling me, but through actual numbers, because I've discovered something that I want you all to see, and then I'm going to test some other ESCs for the first time on this video and see if the correlation is there. Now, since we're on the subject of ESCs and testing out certain aspects of it, I do wanna point out something that is very important. If your battery cutoff voltage is lower than 7.4 volts, meaning 3.7 volts per cell. If your battery cutoff is lower than that, then your BEC is, is not capable of putting out the 7.4 volts around the time that your battery is going to die or your ESC is going to protect itself. The actual car is not driving to your expectation because it's not putting out the voltage that is required to run it that way. So that is why six volts is also a safe BEC output for drift cars. Hopefully you find this important too, because if specifications on one servo versus another is almost identical through different voltages, that means you can utilize those specifications to their, for example, I have a gyro and a servo that can both output at 7.4 volts. The servo is able to put out a stronger amount of torque and the gyro is capable of running at 7.4 volts. Maybe I want to run 7.4 volts. In that case, I want to know that my ESC is actually putting that out. So first up, we're gonna test the FureTech SlideTech Pro ESC VEC output at six volts and then at 7.4. What I'm going to do now is 
turn on my multimeter. There you go. You all can see it now. Fully charged battery there. You can see the number is 8.37. I have a good old test set up here. Got my positive and my negative. I'm gonna plug it in to the receiver here where all of these channels should output the same exact voltage. Plug that in. So that's positive and negative, both routed to where they're supposed to be. I'm gonna plug in the battery. And now let's turn on the car. Now, as you can see, that is six volts. That is exactly what this ESC is supposed to be output. But I'm gonna go in here and change the BEC output I'm going to change that to 7.4 and I'm going to click OK. Now look at that. Instead of 7.4 volts, this is putting out 7.09. But no matter what you do, it's not going to give the 7.4. So let's go ahead and go to a different ESC and see if that outputs 7.4 volts. Now for this ESC, I have to plug in the USB-C, Bluetooth, adapter, then go into the app here and change that. Let's go with connection, connect via Bluetooth, select Bluetooth dongle. Should get some uh, action here soon. So now here's the comm cord. It's just gonna power it on here. Six volts. And now I'm gonna go get the uh, program card. So let's run a 6.7 really quick. And I'm unplugging this servo because it says it doesn't run on 7.4. There we are at 7.4. Save our plug. Turn off, turn back on, 7.4 volts. And we clearly have a winner here, one that both can change the parameters and actually run them at the same time. Let's close this video out. So in conclusion, uh, there's one ESC that did all the functions, made it to 7.4 volts and could switch all the way back down. There was another ESC that for whatever reason, I cannot tune it on Bluetooth anymore. And then there was another one that didn't put out the voltage it said it was. With that information, do what you will. I personally run on six volts, so none of these ESCs are giving me an issue. And I have zero complaints about that. But when I do transition to 7.4, because I have done it in the past, now I understand that I need to make sure that 7.4 volts is actually coming out of the ESC. And that is, uh, I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that I have to test that because if you tell me 7.4 is coming out of there, out of the ESC, then it, it, it should be coming out of there. If my servo is telling me that it can put out 16 kilograms at 7.4 volts, I expect a stronger servo because my ESC is now putting out the voltage that the servo said it can operate at. I'm not gonna be the dead horse. Uh, do with the information what you will. I just wanted to put that information out there on the internet because it's something I discovered. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments. Do you run 7.4 volts or do you run 6 volts? And that's going to do it for today's video. If this video has helped you, then the next video you should watch is on the screen right now. It builds directly on what you just learned. I'm always, always sharing information on RC drifting, the ins and outs of how chassis work, and electronics, and also just valuable information based on what products are out there. So consider watching, keep God first, and I'll catch you on the next video.